Hi and welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. We are at the Belfry. We are out on the short game area and we're talking about pitching in this video and we're going to give you a really simple drill that you can try at your practice area or out on the course which is going to help you hit these short pitch shots better, more consistently and hopefully get them a little bit closer to the hole. So the drill we're going to do is a one-handed pitch shot which sounds quite difficult. Anytime we tell a golfer we're going to play a shot with one hand suddenly the alarm bells go off and we think this is going to be impossible. We are not expecting to hit the ball as close to the hole, but the drill is hopefully going to give you some good ideas about what you're trying to do when you're out on the course. So, very simple, what you're going to get you to do is take your normal starting position that you would for a shot of this distance. I've got a flag which is about 20 yards away. We don't really want to be playing these shots over a much greater distance than that, so maybe try and carry the ball between maybe 10 and 20 yards. So you're going to take your normal starting position, as, I, as you would for a normal shot, and then you're just going to take off your lead hand pop it either in your pocket around your back and you're just going to try and hit that pitch shot onto the green with just that back hand. So hopefully I'm going to give that a go. Okay, and you can see that ball pretty decent, landed a little bit shorter I wanted, but it rolled out pretty closely. So how's this going to help you? Well, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get the arms, or in this case the arm and the body to sync up. We're trying to basically move this golf club with the body. And this drill is very, very good for helping golfers do that. What we're actually trying to do is from our starting position, we're trying to basically keep the relationship between the body and the arm pretty constant. So what I mean by that would be, I take the weight of the club in my hand, and as I rotate my body away, the club moves. So you can see here that my right arm is sitting pretty much on my rib cage, and as I move back, that relationship is maintaining. So I rotate my body back, which moves the golf club. And as I turn my body through to the target, the golf club begins to move towards the ball, strikes the ball, and then I continue towards the target. And again, that relationship maintains. So if I just do that again for you, and I just want you to keep your eye on the right arm of the chest, and I'm just gonna put my hand there so you can see that there's no movement or no sort of separation between the two. Okay, a little bit shorter than the previous one, but not too bad, okay? So you can see that. Now, when we get golfers to do this drill, it gives, well, it gives me as the coach a real good insight as to what that golfer is trying to do. What I will often see when a golfer does this the first time, I will often see this setup, and then when I ask them to make the, hit the shot, I often see the golf club being moved very much by the arm. Okay? And you can see how, how poor a strike that was, a little bit thin, very, very low. So what we often see is, is this move where I say the arm moves very quickly off the chest. You can see a big gap in here now. And basically, this golf club is being moved by this right arm. And for me as a coach, that's really interesting because that tells me that that golf is a little bit too dominant with the arms. The other one we would tend to see is one where the wrists tend to get involved very quickly this way. So it's not so much the arm, but more the wrist. And again, that gives me some good insights as to what that golf is trying to do. We really want this shot to be played with the bigger muscles, with the rotation of the upper body, rotation of the torso, back and through. If the torso is rotating, we're probably going to see some movement in the hips as well. That's absolutely fine. But the key thing would be we're trying to sync up what the golf club's doing, what the trail arm is doing, and what the body's doing. And this drill is very, very good for that. You'll probably notice I've got a head cover on the floor. It's just a putter cover. Putter covers are normally good because they're pretty good shape. If you're finding this difficult to do, try and place the putter cover under your trail arm. Having something there that you're trying to keep sort of in position is going to help you get a good feel for what we're trying to do, okay? As soon as I place that head cover under there, I suddenly feel as if I've got to use my upper body to rotate, okay? I certainly would feel if I use my arm, that head cover is going to drop out. So if you find this difficult, the addition of a head cover, something like a putter cover, or maybe one off your rescue or something, make sure it's not too big, something like that under your trail arm is going to be very, very good. It's going to help you do that. If you find this difficult, I would suggest doing quite a few practice swings without the ball first. So head cover would go under, take your starting position, and then just make lots of little swings where you're really starting to feel that the body's turning and you're starting to control the golf club with the turn of the body, not with the wrists or not with the arm. Okay? It'd be interesting to see which category you fall into. I say very, very common is that arm coming off the chest. Okay? That golfer, when we hit these pitch shots, we'd often see that golfer using too much of the arms. As soon as we use too much of the arms, we start to compromise many things. We start to compromise the launch angle, the trajectory, the distance control, the strike. If we can't consistently control those things, 
getting that ball close to that hole is going to prove very, very difficult for that golfer. If we can start to use the upper body, we will find that we deliver the club to the ball much more consistently. We start to get the same trajectory each time. We start to get the same strike each time. We start to impart the same amount of spin each time. Suddenly, distance control becomes a lot easier and ultimately getting that ball closer to the hole becomes a lot easier. Okay, so let me just hit another one for you. I'm just going to do this again, just right-handed. So take my normal setup first. Okay, take this hand off, connect that right arm to the body, rotate back, rotate through. And again, a pretty nice shot. You will be surprised at how good you can pitch the ball one-handed. Okay, initially it might be quite difficult, but the more you practice it, the better you can get. What you might find as well is it helps with your setup. If I start my setup and I'm stood a little bit too far away from the golf ball, which we do see quite commonly, it's very difficult to get the arm and the body to work together because there's a bit too much of a gap between the side rib cage and the upper arm. So naturally, when we do get golfers to this deal, they often want to stand a little closer, which I would advise, and they often feel they get a little bit tighter into the golf ball. Again, that's something we'd like to see on these short pitch shots. Okay, once you've done a couple of those, one-handed, go ahead, add the second hand, and then you can play a couple of shots. But again, we want to try and feel the same thing. Nice connection, rotate the body back, rotate the body through, lots of rotation, less independent movement of the arms, less independent movement of the hands. That will get you to hit these pitch shots much more consistently. Okay? It's an easy drill to do, simply because you don't need anything other than yourself, a golf club, and some balls. Okay? No sort of props, no training aids needed. So it's very easy to set up. It's not that easy to do. But as I say, the more you can practice it, the better you get at it. I'm sure you'll find out on the golf course, when you find yourself in this situation, you will be much more competent at this shot. Your distance control will be better. Your trajectory control will be better. And that can only mean shorter putts, more up and downs and better scores. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it's a drill you can do at your practice area. Uh, post your comments in the box down below whether you found that helpful, how you got on with that drill, whether it's something you've done before or whether it's a new drill you're trying out. Uh, and there's a like button down there as well, so click that if you did like the video, that really helps me. And finally, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel. There is a link in the description box down below. It just means you've got a notification every time I upload a video and you won't miss any of the content. Okay, thanks again for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.